The following does not constitute individualized legal advice for your case. A list of legal resources can be found on the Oregon Judicial Department website, courts.oregon.gov slash help. Landlord-tenant disputes can arise from many different issues and are some of the most common cases that come to the Multnomah County Courthouse. If you have a landlord-tenant dispute that ends up in court, here's what to expect. If you have been unable to reach agreement at your first court appearance, your case will be set for trial. A notice providing the date and time of your trial will be sent to you. Be sure the court has your current contact information. In accordance with statute, landlord-tenant trials must be set within 15 days of the first appearance date. If you are the plaintiff, failure to appear at the trial may result in your case being dismissed. If you are the defendant, you may receive a default judgment of eviction being entered against you. What happens at a landlord-tenant trial? At trial, the judge will hear evidence and testimony and make a decision called the judgment. The plaintiff, usually the landlord or an agent hired to represent the landlord, goes first and the defendant, tenants, goes second. Both sides will have the opportunity to present sworn testimony, provide evidence, for example, photographs, a rental agreement, eviction notice, or canceled checks. For any evidence you bring to trial, you must have three copies. The original documents are provided to the judge, one copy to the other side, and you will want to retain a copy for your own use. You are not required to provide the documents prior to the date of the trial. All the documents the court accepts as exhibits in the case will be logged for the court's record. Landlord-tenant cases are appealable. At the trial, you will have a limited amount of time to present your case. Remember to identify your most important points. You may want to bring witnesses with you to trial. You may want to read from a prepared statement or refer to notes. Remember, bring three copies of evidence and plan on being at the courthouse for at least a couple of hours. If the judge decides in favor of the plaintiff, the court may order you to leave the property, to move out, and require you, the defendant, to pay the plaintiff's costs and lawyer fees. If the judge decides in favor of the defendant, the court may dismiss the case and require the plaintiff to pay the defendant's costs and lawyer fees. For information about what may happen after your judgment, visit the Oregon State Bar's website at osbar.org under the public tab, Legal Information Topics. Landlord-tenant disputes can be stressful, and we hope this video has been helpful. Remember, the courts are here to help you navigate the process. If you need assistance due to any type of disability, need an interpreter, or have questions about our court procedures, filing fees, or court forms, please visit the court's website at courts.oregon.gov slash Multnomah or check your paperwork for court contact information. The information presented in this video is specific to the Multnomah Circuit Court. We recommend contacting your local court for more details and information.